Hey, this is Gwen from Hair Bow Supplies, etc. Today we are going to make a popsicle hair bow. We have totally adorable blue popsicle felt appliques. These are available in our shop, and so we're going to decorate them with these popsicle drips ribbon. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make a boutique style hair bow. This piece is 26 inches long. Get a lighter and go ahead and seal your edges and get a needle and thread handy and ready to go. Take your ribbon and bring it from the right over to the left. Make sure it's on this angle. Take your left side and bring it over to the right. Make sure your loops are even. Take and turn your hair bow. Bring this piece under. And bring your last piece up and to the left. Take your hair bow and turn it back. Get your needle and thread. Put your needle right through the center of the bow. And bring it back through. Put your needle through the loop and pull. Take your thread, wrap it around your bow a couple times. Hold on to your bow and turn. Now hold on to your bow and your thread and you will pull. Now take your bow and flip it over to the back and put your needle through the back and just seal off that thread. Get your scissors and cut. Put your bow back and then just pull it out just a little. I put my hair bow on a cardboard box. You can get a piece of paper. Get some hairspray. Now let your hair bow sit for a few minutes and let it dry. We're going to make the second hair bow the same style. The ribbon is 24 inches long, so we'll go ahead and get started and we'll just speed through this one. Next we're going to make our ribbon spikes. So we have all of our pieces and I have them stacked in the order that we're going to put them together. So take your ribbon spike piece, this is six and a half inches long, fold it in half and fold it in half again. Get some really good sharp scissors and cut it on an angle. You should make some really pretty ribbon spike pretty quick. So then you just get your lighter and you'll seal the edges of each one. So we're gonna go down the line and make this for each one of our ribbon spikes. Next we're going to make our ribbon spikes. So everything is in the order that we're going to make it. So just take your spikes, get your hot glue ready, and put some hot glue right in the center of your spike. And then start to line everything up.
Next we have our tool. This is about one yard of tool. Then you'll need some thread. So take your tool and measure it from one end of your spikes to the other. And then you'll just pinch that end and then start folding your tool down. And then just wrap it over itself. End to end. And one more time to the end there. Then we will get our thread and we're going to wrap it around the center. So we have our lovely assistant that has decided to join us in our video today. Hello guest speaker. What is your name? Charlotte. Charlotte. How old are you? Um, six. You're six. You gotta speak a little bit closer to the microphone so they can hear you. How old are you? Six. You're six. And what are you doing today? Um, I'm playing with my shopkins today. Okay. Alright, so Charlotte, next we are going to take our thread and put it around the center. So we are going to take a piece of thread and wrap it right around the center like this. Now what we want to do is fold this in half and make sure that it is in fact the center. So we will just pull right here. Okay and now we are going to take our thread and tie it in a knot. Charlotte do you know how to tie a knot? Say, no. You do not? Mm-mm. Well, we need to learn how, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pull, 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 and then tie it one more time. All right. Let's do three times just for good measure. How about that? <laughs> Charlotte, would you like to get the scissors for us? Um, They're right here on the right yes. side. Thank you, love. All right, and then we'll cut the scissors. Okay, so now we've got this cute little thing, and then we're just going to stick our scissors through the center right here, and we're going to cut and stick our scissors through the center of this one and cut as well. Okay, now we have just this cute little thing that we're going to put in. Are you helping? Thank you, Miss Charlotte. Thank you very much. That's nice and fluffy. Okay, so what we're going to do next is piece together our hair bow. We are completely ready. So just make sure that you have all your ribbon pieces and your flowers. And your line dolly clip, gator clip, and we'll just put it together. Yep, thank you ma'am. Alright, so we're going to take this piece right here and get our hot glue. We're going to put it right down in the center. I always like to stand up so I can see what I'm doing and make sure that it's completely centered. Okay, and next we're going to take our fluffy tool piece and put that right in the center. You can't help with that. You can't help with the hot glue part. You just can watch the hot glue part. Okay, next we will get our top bow. Put some glue on the back. And always make sure you have this little piece here. That's right. Thank you, ma'am. And then we will put our other bow right on top. Okay, we'll get our popsicle piece. And we will put some hot glue on the back side. I'm going to angle this popsicle to the side a little bit. Okay, and then we've got all of our cute little flowers. And let's put those on the very top. Now it's time to put this on the bottom. That's right. So we'll flip over our bow. We'll put our clip down. 
And that's how you make a popsicle hairball. Thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Say bye. Bye-bye.